morning and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, September 3rd, 2015. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Thank you for your patience with that. So as we were discussing on Tuesday in our video, um, the wild price action in the month of August has brought these longer term uh, patterns into place. So it might be worth just quickly reviewing the five year monthly chart on the Russell. We use the Russell as our simple proxy for overall market health, strength and direction. And because we never want to put a chart forward to our viewers unless we're putting it forward in a rising market environment. So as you can see, price in the month of August, this is the August candle, came right back in to test this blue channel line that was uh, respected through much of 2014. So we got a defense of it, a bearish candle still overall, but interesting long wick. Here's the month of September shaping up so far. So with this reference in mind, let's go over to the two-year weekly chart and take a look at how price is behaving on the weekly lot of volume and a very bullish candle last week that defended this area, the bottom of the channel. So we're looking for some follow through this week. And so far, uh, the candle is, you know, we've got a couple more days, important days. We have the jobs report coming out tomorrow in the US and uh, the ECB is making some kind of um, a statement, you know, anything they say these days is going to be read pretty carefully. So uh, those are two things I would be keeping an eye on. China markets are closed today and tomorrow, reopen on Monday, but um, it looks as though I would expect that we might get a little bit of follow through and a bullish look to this week's candle, but it's, it's not really what I expect. It's how price is behaving. So that's what I really try to pay attention to. Worth noting, um, on the two-year weekly chart, you can see that this blue area here, the blue channel line, the upper channel line, which we are approaching now on the Russell, acted as a little, you know, it hit it here, one, two, three, and then it broke through. So I would expect some thinking in the markets in terms of price. Uh, I don't know if it'll blow right through there. I think it might do a little bit of thinking as it gets up to here. So it'll be interesting to see how price behaves in this area. So with the two-year weekly chart out of the way, let's take a look at the nine-month daily. Um, a lot of uh, charts are looking like they are building strength. I, at Chart of the Day Cafe, as I mentioned in my Tuesday video, we're going to wait just because of the wild price action recently. We're going to be extra cautious. We're going to wait until price moves up and over this blue area here before putting any new charts forward but I scanned through the chart of the day cafe videos that we've put out this year so far um, and for those of you that are interested the ones that are trading up and over the blue line GM um, I'm just gonna get rid of my drawings to make this uh, a little easier for you guys to read uh, Valiant Pharmaceuticals up and over the blue line Southwest Airlines up and over the blue line Western Digital up and over the blue line Apple oops sorry up and over the blue line Costco up and over the blue line and Disney up and over the blue line so um, at Chart of the Day Cafe we're never making any suggestions whatsoever it's always for your further research but um, for those of you that use the blue line as their guide, those are might be ones to uh, do some further homework on. So with that, uh, I'll leave you. will be interesting to see how the next couple of days shape up. And um, I will put out a video again next Tuesday. Thanks very much. Have a good weekend.